Hello, Leo. Welcome to your 222-2021 portal. I'm Infinity. I am a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, and divine soul guide. I have my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. Please take a look at it. I do distance energy healing, really deep spiritual work. Oh, I forgot our first card. Nine of Swords. So let's get going and see what we get here for the rest of your reading. Oh, we're six swords. I love that combination. Gotta say. Starting off here. Very interesting. Leo, page of wands after. All right, here wants to come out the world. There we go. In reverse. And whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's <laughs> put this. That was interesting. Wow. I'm taking this out. That's the Part of all those cards I just saw. So that one card, Leo, standing out that just dumped all over, which literally never happens, very rarely. Your uh, eight card, the strength card in the Major Arcana. Oh, oh our are popping. And our last three cards all came out at once judgment in reverse after strength and then the seven of cups in reverse after judgment and last but if i can pick it up last but not least here the page of cups in your number eight position so the way that these readings have been going is kind of past present future sorry past present future being at the end here with your eighth card I'm being told to take one more. And I'm feeling it being this bottom card, the death card, birth and renewal. Making sense. <laughs> Making sense. All right. So let's take a second here to think about, let me just bring this in here. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that we've definitely gone through a period where there's been a lot going on, a lot of people in your life, um, a lot of distraction. Uh, this could be just a you know a lot of family, a lot of friends, a lot of people that that you get involved with. Um, online, I'm hearing online or in person. Um, they find you, you find them, but I also feel that this is, you know, actual people in your life and a lot of stuff taking your attention, your energy, um, and it being hard to focus and rest and, and really, I guess do, I'm hearing do what needs to be done. Um, but you have decided I am only focusing on a couple of, of people or maybe nobody at all and just really kind of distancing yourself, um, or this is something that you really need to do. So you could be, I'm feeling we're right in here with this energy, um, that maybe you've even gone forward and gone a little bit back into this, like you've gone, felt free, felt some, some progress, felt your magic and all that I'm hearing, but then this would come back in. I'm feeling this kind of thing. Um, and it's really, it's been a major theme, cutting cords, releasing from other people, needing to cut cords, um, and doing that really deep healing energy work that needs to be done to get past 
other people and other things, and even from your past, I'm hearing from your past. So it could be people, situations, experiences from your past that still hold a negative charge that still bother you. That you feel like you were treated unfairly, that, pe that people didn't, yeah, yeah, didn't treat you right, that you didn't get the recognition that you deserved or needed. And every time you think about it, it pisses you off. You're like, why? Why does this happen all the time? And I, I feel like there's just core, there's really cords that need to be cut. Um, and this is a theme with every single reading, some more than others, but it's coming through right at the beginning. Usually it's somewhere like around here or around here, but Leo, it's at the beginning. And so that's really telling me that and that you know that it's like, yeah, okay, I, I know that <laughs> you're not telling me anything I don't know. I know that I have a lot of people in my life. I know I'm connected to a lot of people. I know that 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 just happened, just as part of my who I am, my destiny, and and all of that. And I think you allow yourself to get swept up in that, like I'm meant to help people kind of thing, and it just stacking up with what it does for you and your and your discerning of who you should be attaching yourself to and when you should let go, when you should focus on you, when you should move on, um, when you should not even let it begin is has been trouble, has been difficult for you. Um, so you're definitely, we're, let's go here. We're going to be sorting this out more after you do cord cutting. It's going to make it much easier for you to to do this, to feel released and to be able to get from your nine to your six, to simplify it, simplify it. So you can move, move forward and be guided by your, those who, um, you know, your guides, your guardians, your angels, your ancestors, uh, And really the need to tap into that, to that, not so much trying to prove anything. Of course, Leo is always having um, a, a thing with needing recognition, having a big ego, um, and, and, and the need to be seen and and, and recognized and, and trust me, I'm not putting you down. My ascending is Leo. So I guess <laughs> um, that's, that can also be the way that people see you and not necessarily how you feel, but, um, but that's just coming through. Like, like it's, like it's like for you to get in touch and remember your magic and, and what that's, what that feels like for you, not for other people or how other people see you or what it does for other people, but what it is and what it means for you and your connection, your soul, your progress, your ascension, your journey, your purpose, your destiny, your mission, your health, your wellness, all of that stuff. Um, and then see this energy here. Interesting. You have two two circles with the world and the page of wands. So this fire energy coming up. I'm really feeling with this world card that it's showing me we really need to do some deep energy healing with your chakras to clean out a lot of gunk from your entire lifetime. Uh, definitely need to do some serious energy work, working on your Merkaba, working with sacred energy, working with angelics like Metatron. Um, Leo, I'm hearing Leo, please do the 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate um, meditation that's on my website. Uh, 
It's a very important meditation. It's the Lion's Gate. It's on 8-8 of every year. It's when Sirius, the uh, pyramids in Egypt, and our galactic center all line up. And it's a portal for bringing in and collapsing timelines and connecting with, um, uh, with our story and Akashic records and integration. And so I'm being told to tell you about that. Find it on my website. That is, um, that is a really good idea for you to do ASAP. Um, yeah. Okay. So Again, with strength in the lion's gate, I forgot that was over here. So lion's gate, got it, got it. So the lion's gate coming through again here, reminding me right off the bat, it will really help you um, a lot. Those are deep and intense and we do a lot of energy work in that. And um, I highly suggest that you take a look at that. And if you have trouble finding it on my site, I'll try to make, I'll try to remember to make it easy to find on my, but it's just in my shop. And I think it's like $3 because it was a paid event. Um, a lot of the stuff I do is for free, but last year I was guided to make it a paid event. So those who are really very serious about it to be there for that eight, eight lion's gate. Um, and so if you're interested, um, take a look in it. I think it's, like I said, it's $3. Um, if you're, if that's something that's really important to you, uh, that sort of thing, but it, it is something that's coming up here and it hasn't come up in any other reading. It's just very interesting. That's coming up for you, Leos. Um, very interesting. Next up is the judgment card. Um, and we're in reverse. Okay, so here we have judgment and the seven of cups next to each other and in reverse. And I'm feeling here, Leo, like there's almost like two rounds coming up for you. Two rounds coming up for you. Okay, so yeah, what I'm feeling with this is that there's almost like these two rounds in a short amount of time where there's gonna be like, um, a need for you to sort kind of sort stuff out and i and look at the 27th we have the seven of cups in judgment which is the 20 card that's also a nine and and for and the 27th oh the 27th is the full moon there we, there we go so the 27th is the full moon i forgot about that um and i'm feeling that i know there's probably nothing here to show you or to indicate that but that's what's coming to me and um, with these two cards, like I said, it's almost like two things happening. So the two next big things happening cosmically that we're to pay attention to is the portal on the 22nd and the full moon on the 27th, five days later. So if you can, I know it's a lot, but if you can think about um, reading my cord cutting ebook, if you haven't already, doing cord cutting or doing more cord cutting, um, doing the meditations, or if you haven't done them already that I've been putting out lately, there was the new moon one. It was a shit ton of light activation and that. Um, so much in integration. I can't even like, there's crystal integration and diamond light and 
it's just so much. So take a look at that. And then over these last few days, we've done meditations. It was healing the abundance and the money wound. It was loving the body and connecting with your um, guardian angel. And then yesterday it was um, connecting with and reconnecting and integrating with your inner child. And so there's going to be another one today. I have no idea what it's about. I don't pick these. They just happen. But we're we're hitting all the major marks of stuff that we need to, to heal in um, in preparation for our 222 and 227. So do Lionsgate, do the, the meditations over these last few days, do, I know I'm telling you to do stuff that I put out, but this is what I do. And this is what I'm being told to share with you that needs to be done. What you need to know now, I'm a soul and spirit guide. I'm connected to the portals and to the angelic realms and all this stuff. I am a soul guide. And so as a soul, gu soul guide, I tell you what you need to hear, what you need to do. It's up to you if you're going to take the time to do it. If you're going to take it seriously, if you're just going to be like, oh, whatever, I'll do it whenever. Or if you're going to go, yeah, I need to do some cord cutting. I need to read about that. I need to understand what energy cords are and how they're connected. And and if you already know that I really need to do it, like I've been putting it off, there's been other things, blah, 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 whatever, you really need to do it um, and prepare and think about doing deep energy work with your body um, on your own or with somebody else, but it's definitely necessary. And another thing to do ASAP um, in, uh, is the Lionsgate meditation, but um. I really feel that as long as you do that lion's meditation before the full moon, you're good. And to focus on these other ones before the 222 portal. That's what I'm feeling here because they're like two, there's two sets of, of what's going on here. I mean, there's a lot in layers coming up here, but we really need to do that because this is going to help you sort. There's still more to sort out that's going to come up more for you to be be aware of more for more is going to come in for you to kind of get organized in your head. And then we're these last two cards are very telling and where you'll you'll be. So this is a possible best case, best case scenario option for if you follow the guidance where you will be well, not just my guidance here but as you move forward where you will be you know your your guidance coming forth um if you open up to it because it's it's your you and your higher self your soul and getting into alignment and so you're doing this the death is rebirth death means rebirth new beginnings, renewal, resurrection. And that's been such a huge theme coming up for us um, just overall, generally, and in the different, uh, it's been a theme all month. All month has been this theme of renewal, rebirth, um, all of that stuff. And even yesterday, or for today's, um, I say yesterday, because I did it yesterday, but for today, the 15th, February 15th, it was integrating with your rebirthing your inner child, your little one, and taking responsibility for nurturing your inner child um, is just one aspect of that. So you're on a trajectory for integration with your higher self. I think in a way that you're that is so intensely like like I think under underneath of everything, you have a good sense, <clears throat> excuse me, of what, not completely, but I think to a certain extent, I think you know your power. I think you know your strength. I think you know your divinity. And I think that's why you've had problems, honestly. Because again, I hate to, to pound on it on this, but it's, it's that Leo, take charge, I can handle it, kind of that ego, even narcissistically, kind of wanting to have your, your print on everything and feeling like I'm here to help. But I think in a twisted kind of way, it's been very kind of passive aggressive. It's help. It's, 
it's helped you stay distracted from from the me because you've been in the we and and that hasn't very much it served other people but there's resentment there's negative energy still there and you having a hard time moving forward because of it um and i i don't think you like to admit that so that's another block like to get over admitting that you're pissed off for doing and and helping other people and then them just you know like whatever like or treating you even like shit afterward um and you holding on to that pain so not only did i not do me i helped you and then you're gone awesome. over and over and over again so what's that about that's not all them and of course it's not all you but there is something to to think about there um okay first card prosperity lies and blood. there we go we've been worried about money finances whatever the case may be here um and this is also spiritual prosperity i'm feeling prosperity abundance spiritual prosperity please a flash of that meditation for uh for the clearing the abundance blocks and and healing the money wound if you have not done that please do that oh there's just an one of the set we're supposed to get two or three of these emotions are running high so what i'm picking up with this is there's a lot of healing water energy that's coming in on the fire and it's causing kind of some fires to, to be extinguished but in place of the fire we have all this smoke rising and the smoke is cause is is for thing maybe you to see things in a different way and it's causing maybe some in, intense emotions but emotions can also be passion it can also be like i'm passionate about about this maybe this is really going to resonate with you and you're just i hope i really hope and you're going to get on it because it really needs to happen and surrender to the divine look at these two full moons we have here it is the first thing that i'm being shown to pay attention to well look at these look at these two full moons that we got i don't think you're going to be too resistant to this honestly um, surrender to the divine. And feeling this, of course, Leo fire energy needing to control, needing to feel like if I'm not doing it, then it's not getting done right. Um, if I don't take care of it, if I don't, you know, some, you know, if I, that kind of thing, uh, I see what other people don't see. I know more than other people know. I, you know, this kind of thing, um, surrender to the divine and let's, let's not have ego involved. Let's, let's let go of the need to control, need to know the outcome, need for, things to move at a certain pace because we get impatient and just let go and take care of you and your healing because there's a lot of energy work here and healing work that needs to be done so you can move forward the whole entire time here too though i'm seeing you're always tapped in with your magical side it's just your energy gets in the way and so it becomes very fuzzy and very difficult to 
feel that connection that's very clear. And that also frustrates you even more. But you are on this path. Let's not forget you are on this path of rebirth, clearly. So let's get a Hidden Worlds Oracle to wrap this up. And the Hidden Worlds always such amazing insight. Spirit of Spring, card number 34, Freedom, Action, Power. So the second card that we have here talking about power or strength. No surprise there, Leo. You're kind of known for that. So let's get into it with the book. Spirit of Spring, Freedom, Action, Power. She comes in to teach the world. How beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, I love the artwork in this. So she comes to teach the world, to touch the world into awakening again. Each cycle follows its course and at her point on the cycle, the spirits of spring emerge and do their work. Each has their part to play from fairy to the goddess who breathes life back into the still world. When she comes to you, no matter what part of the external cycle you are at, inside it will be your spring. This is your renaissance. This is your time of jasmine and sweetness. This is the time to consider what it is you will grow. And you must hurry, dear one, to catch this energy, which is coming to you, bursting up through your blood, through the cells and into the mind where ideas will be born that will shape the world yet to come. You are a part of the next step on this planet and you must take true and real, I'm sorry, and you must make true and real within that world, the ideas which now arise within you. For this Spirit of Spring is urging you to recreate the world anew, to initiate the ideas and to fulfill the promise of conception. You have work to do, dear one, a vocation to fulfill. It is beyond the numbing plod of the slave machine that can be our culture. You have more to give than that. It is pushing through the limitations that seem to be all about you. right? You are free, free to make your life your garden, free to become what you nurture has destined you to be. Wait, what? <laughs> free to make your life your garden, free to become what your nature has destined you to be, free to make wild the life that forces within the paradigm would prefer to enslave for their purposes. The power of pure, fresh, sweet life is within you. Let it pour through you, rise up out of you, take root in your soul and blossom through words and actions, choices and commitments. Do not hesitate. The time for action and growth is now. Touch your life as she does for you are her and she is you. And once this is recognized, you can never be taken prisoner again. Oh my God, so true so powerful. Holy moly. If you don't feel that energy, if you don't feel something in your chest right now, oh, really activates the heart chakra big time. Elimination. When I grow and act, to, when I grow and act, I free not only myself, but all around me is our, is, this is a hard what is the problem here? When I grow and act, I free not only myself, but all around me are freed in return. Sorry. I don't know. I had a hard time there. When I grow and act, I free not only myself, but all around me are freed in return. That's very true. That's how I start all my healings. We start with connecting with Gaia, connecting with the world, 
um, at large and everybody in it and having the intention and the idea as we heal one, we heal all. And, and so it's for those of us that are to, to work with other people, to guide other people, to be seers and, and um, psychics and mediums and, and healers and all of that, uh, we have to be able to go through our rebirth. We need to focus on us. And it's, this is so, there's so, this is so urgent. Like I was saying, like, I really hope you take this seriously. I really hope you recognize the timing in this. We have the portal on the 22nd. We have the full moon. The full moon is, it, like I said, in the, like when I saw this 27, I'm like, I know we're not seeing anything with moons here, but we're the full moon here in either of these cards, but that's what I'm feeling with this two and the seven. We got to sort stuff out. It's another point with big energy. And then we get two full moons. So, and it's um, surrender to the divine, like it's saying that you need to do here. So you have like, you have two of those going on. And of course your emotions are going to be running high through this you are going through a rebirth and you are going through understandings and realizations about stuff, learning um, about yourself and about the world around you, your spirituality, your place in it. I mean, she, she says here, um, do not hesitate. The time for action and growth is now. Touch your life as she does. For you are her and she is you. And once this is recognized, you are never to be taken prisoner again. Um, so powerful, so important to think about that, to think about that energy of, of being rebirthed, released, resurrected, totally different because you've taken control of your power, of your energy, of what, what's in, what comes into this field. What comes in here is a hundred percent up to you. And what you do with it is a hundred percent up to you. Period. Let's turn her right side up and see when she comes into alignment, she's walking on, on light and light is coming in and emanating through her, yet she's protected. So she doesn't have to worry. She doesn't have to control. She just goes. And, she's so, and she, this represents complete um, balance and being connected in, in your body with your chakras, with your energy, that, with the energy that's coming down and, and what you're walking on and what you're emanating. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I love it. Okay. Thank you so much, Leo, for being here, for coming to this reading, for, for being guided here. Uh, I really appreciate it. I appreciate your likes, your comments, subscribing, sharing. Let me know down in the comments how this resonates with you. And, and if you've done any of this work, if, since you follow me, if you've done any of this work, um, this meditation work that, that I'm talking about, or if you plan on doing the other ones, remember, we have all the, the new moon, the abundance, the love body and angel um, connection, and then integrating with your with your inner child and the lion's gate and cord cutting. It's a lot, but like the Oracle said, you're being called to action, to duty, to responsibility for you, for your energy, for now at this time, very specifically, very specifically. So take it seriously, please, please, please Leo. Um, okay. That's it. Thanks for joining me. Love you. Love you. Love you. And I will see you soon. Peace out.